They feel in every way like mother and daughter, but they're not. When Sophie Serrano's daughter was born, she was treated for jaundice. Another girl shared the incubator, and Sophie was given that baby, the wrong baby, to take home. After four days, they brought me a baby, and I was taken aback because she had more hair, so I asked what was going on. I couldn't possibly have imagined what had actually happened, but it was odd, so I mentioned it, and the nurse answered that it was the ultraviolet rays that had made her hair grow more quickly than normal. Manon grew up happily, but it was odd because she had dark skin and frizzy hair. Neighbours gossiped. Sophie's husband was suspicious. So they had a DNA test, which revealed the appalling truth that neither of them was Manon's parent. I was thinking, if I'm not her mother, then the daughter I gave birth to must be in another family somewhere. So I was afraid. Was she OK? Was she being looked after? Was she alive? I was petrified. Sophie got in touch with Manon's real parents, who were, of course, bringing up her real daughter. But it didn't work out. Feelings were too confused and too intense. I found myself with two mothers, two fathers, several brothers and sisters. I couldn't work out where I belonged, because there was my mother, but she wasn't my birth mother. How do you react when you find out you should have been someone else? One can only imagine. Hugh Schofield, BBC News, Paris.